welcome to the Carry My Heart podcast. I'm Carrie. I am so happy that you are joining me here today. This podcast is all about knitting and spinning and crocheting and just my love of fiber and crafting in general. And I am so thrilled that you're joining me. This is episode 10, which feels like a bit of a milestone for me. And if you're a new viewer, welcome. I'm so glad you're here. I would love if you would stick around and join me on future episodes. And if you're returning, thank you so much. You really, really mean a lot to me. So I am going to go ahead and just dive in today because I'm really excited to talk about something in particular. And that is a finished object. And if you have watched my podcast in the past, you'll probably recognize it. It is what I am wearing and I am I'm so thrilled to talk to you about it. This is my Hito Food cardigan and I'm in love. That's really all it just comes down to. I knit this using Knit Picks Capretta, which is a fingering weight yarn. It's an MCN base, so I believe it was 80% merino, 10% cashmere, 10% nylon. But don't quote me on that. Um, this is the Regal colorway, which is just a gorgeous, like purpley color. Um, I'd say it's more like a purpley red than a purpley blue, but it is, it's stunning. I'm obsessed. It showcases the pattern beautifully and it's incredibly soft. It's such a joy to wear. So I could not recommend this yarn more highly. And I used, um, almost exactly three and a half balls of the yarn. It comes in 50 gram balls and this is what I have left. And this is, I believe it weighed out to 23 and a half grams. So like I said, almost exactly half. So now I have to figure out what to use the rest of this for. But in the meantime, I am just going to keep wearing this sweater and reveling in it because like I said, I loved it. I struggled with the pattern a little bit at the beginning. It was a bit of a learning curve for me, but that being said, the pattern instructions are actually incredibly well written. And if you're going to give this sweater a go, just read it, read it carefully, read through it, and because it will explain everything for you perfectly. So like I said, it was a bit of a learning curve for me at first. It was a bit outside my comfort zone. This is the first sweater I have ever made. Actually, this is my first project with sleeves entirely. I've made a few tank tops or um, like little t-shirts with little cap sleeves before, but this is my first project with sleeves. I really wanna make another one of these. I think, um, I love the shorter sleeve that this has, but I think for the next one I might make, I might make it a full length sleeve so I can transition it into colder months as well. But for now, it's perfect for cool summer evenings. And like I said, I'm just obsessed with it. I'll uh, try and stand up and show you just some of the patterns. So it's a bit longer in the back. And then the way it's knit, it sort of tapers up to the front. So it's a little shorter in the front, but it's just incredibly stunning. The lace is gorgeous. And like I said, I love it. So um, I modified the pattern slightly. I decided that I reached the point where I was done with the lace and then all I had left was a couple rows of ribbing to finish it. I tried it on at that point, obviously it was not yet blocked, but I decided based on some suggestions on Ravelry from other people's projects who have made this sweater before to make it a little bit longer. Um, I did um, essentially three more repeats of the lace motif and I am so glad I did because I think it's now the perfect length. When I first tried it on before I blocked it. Um, but it was off my needles. I was a little worried. I was really hoping it was going to block out bigger, so I blocked it quite aggressively, and it is now just how I want it to be. So completely in love, completely smitten. I want to make another. My sisters have all said that they love it too. 
maybe I'll make one of them one and cannot speak highly enough about this pattern. Love it, love it, love it. So that is my only finished object because it is what I've worked on pretty religiously. Um, I was essentially a completely monogamous knitter on this um, project until um, I had it finished and now I can explore some new projects as well. So my work's in progress. I'll go ahead and show you an old one first. It was one that I had not worked on in several weeks, so you have not seen it in a while, but um, keeping it in my Japanese knot bag from Lavender Hill Knits on Etsy. But this is my Tiffany Triangle shawl, which is from the book Wendy Knits Lace by Wendy D. Johnson. And I didn't work on it a lot, a lot, because I only finished the sweater a few days ago, but I did about six more rows. You can see my little progress keeper there. So like I said, only about a centimeter's worth of work done on this, but it's coming along gorgeously. And I think my interest in it has been renewed a little bit ever since I started working on it again. And so I'm eager to get it done. I think um, it might be what I work on for the most part for the next few weeks until I get it done. So because I just wanted off my needles, I cast this on at the end of February and um, that's just... That's too long, in my opinion. If I let it languish much longer, I might lose interest entirely, and that would probably break my heart a little bit. Because I really do want a finished object. I do want this shawl to be complete. I want to use it and love it. Um, and I do enjoy knitting on it. It's the kind of thing where when I'm working on it, I love it to death. But getting myself to pick it up is a little bit of a struggle for some reason. It's as if I forget how much I love to knit on it. So I don't know. It's just some sort of weird mental block with this project. Not that the pattern isn't fabulous. The pattern's great. It's um, become quite intuitive now and I am really liking the yarn. This is Knit Picks um, Gloss Lace Weight Yarn. And this is the port colorway and I'm really enjoying it. So this is the first lace weight yarn that I've actually ever worked with. And I think that might be part of the reason why it's taking me so long, um, just because there is so much detail. The lace is quite intricate and there's not a whole lot of instant gratification when you work six rows and you only get a centimeter done. So. That being said, hopefully you will see it a little bit more on the episodes in the coming weeks. So stay tuned for that. <laughs> if I say it's going to happen, it has to happen, right? Is that how that works? I hope so. So my next work in progress is something that I cast on immediately after I finished my sweater because I have been dying to cast on this yarn. This is, this gorgeous yarn is Madeline Tosh, Tosh Merino Light, and this is the Filtered Light colorway, and it is so gorgeous. It's primarily just like a white, sort of undyed base color, and then it has speckles of oranges and blues and bits of brown and is so gorgeous every once in a while there's also a bit of purple and hot pink and it's just so subtle and beautiful and so this is what I cast on this is the start the very small start of the come on you can focus the wild heart shawl I believe it's called by um, Janina Calio I believe that might be how you say her name, but I'm quite possibly wrong. Uh, she is the same designer who also designed the Antarctis shawl, which I have made two of before. And so I think she's really just sort of my go-to pattern designer because 
I just love all of her shawls. And as I've mentioned before, I'm on quite the shawl kick right now. And so um, actually when I purchased this yarn and was trying to figure out what I wanted to knit with it, knit it for whatever, you know what I'm talking about. <laughs> um, when I decided what project I wanted to use the yarn for, there we go. I was actually going through all the different projects that people have on Ravelry that they have used to this yarn and actually this exact colorway for. And I saw that somebody else actually made this exact same pattern in this yarn. And it was, it's stunning. And if my finished project can look anything like this other project on Ravelry, I will be so thrilled with it. And so I think just this yarn showcases it perfectly. The tiny bits of speckle really add interest. And as I've mentioned many times before, I love the color white. Um, I wear it a lot and I also love to knit with it. So, so thrilled with this. This was just like an hour or two's work. And so it's just gonna fly off the needles, I think. That's the other thing that I really love about Janina's designs is that they look so intricate, but they're actually quite simple. So if you've never made a shawl before, I would highly recommend one of her patterns because it just, it makes sense. It gets a little mindless after a while, which is nice. There's a lot of garter stitch usually, and it's just a lot of fun. So actually at the moment she is having a sale on her patterns. I'm not entirely sure how long it runs. I know it is still going on though, and I believe it will be going on at least through the end of the month. But she is having a buy two, get one free on her patterns. And so I actually took advantage of that when I bought this, um, this pattern for the Wild Heart. I'm just going to make sure it is called Wild Heart really quickly. Okay, Wild Heart. I'm getting that right did not want to get that wrong <laughs> totally lead you astray but so i also picked up two of her other shawl patterns as well one is also a triangular shawl like this one will be and the other one is a shawl shape that i've never done before it's going to be um, a crescent shawl so i'm really looking forward to that because that'll just be a new um technique i guess for my uh stash of knitting techniques so i'm loving this to death it is awesome um the yarn the yarn is gorgeous this is actually the first time i've worked with singles before and i'm loving it so and i mean people have told me several times that the only drawback of working with single ply yarn is that it can pill more easily. And so I think a shawl will be a great way to use the yarn where it won't have um, a lot of wear. So it's not like a sweater where like, you know, your arms are rubbing all day and you start to get pilling. So I think a shawl is really perfect for this yarn. So. That is so exciting, and that is pretty much all of the fiber goodness I have to show you. I've been pretty good about not casting on a lot of projects because it's the summer. I've been busy. Um, I haven't been getting as much knitting as I would like in, and so because of that, just like with my Tiffany Triangle shawl, I fear that if I cast on more projects, even though I have so many ideas churning in my head about what I want to cast on and what I want to start. I don't want projects languishing just because I can't get to them and I don't want to fall out of love with the projects that um, I would be starting. So that being said, that's really all the knitting I have to show you. Um, just a little rambling, I guess. The summer has been so wonderful so far. I can't believe that it's already the middle of July. Today is July 17th. Um, it's a Sunday and just every single week flies by. I cannot believe it. 
Um, it's been two weeks since my last episode. Um, so since then, I um, took a trip up to Bad Axe, Michigan with David. We stayed um, with the family of a good friend of ours, and it was so much fun. It was 4th of July weekend, so we had fun just shooting off fireworks and cooking and taking in all the scenery and all the views and gorgeous, gorgeous part of the state. Really loved it. And um, this friend's family was so gracious to host us. So that was so much fun. Yesterday, we went to the beach um, here in Chicago. We um, laid out along Lake Michigan and just really had such a great time. We played beach volleyball. I did not. David did with some of our friends that we were with. I sat and read the entire time, got about 100 pages of the book that I'm reading finished. I am reading um, The Travelers by Chris Pavone, I believe. Great book. Not really my usual genre that I go for. It's kind of like a spy thriller, but it's engrossing. It's incredibly well written. Um, I think my only drawback about it is that there's a lot of different characters that I keep getting confused and keep forgetting what one character does. And But like I said, the storytelling is terrific. So I read about 100 pages yesterday at the beach, which was so much fun. And then afterwards, we just went out and got some food and had a good time and That's just really what the summer has been about so far. I mean, I've been working a lot during the week, but the weekends have been so much fun. And I'm also taking a class right now, which has been a bit time consuming and a little bit stressful. But I've just enjoy filling my time with knitting when I can and enjoying this beautiful city of Chicago. So I love Chicago so much. So today, Today's a little cloudy, it rained early this morning, but the sun's come out and I think after this, I'm gonna go just take a walk and enjoy the day. So thank you so much for joining me. That's all I have for today. Not a lot because I've just been a busy, busy summer and because I've been trying to stay monogamous to the projects that I have going on right now. But thank you so much for joining me. Um, I'm going to include some um, footage that I filmed um, from the 4th of July and just from other things that David and I have been enjoying here in Chicago this summer. One of them is actually, um, so we went to a free concert in Millennium Park at the J. Pritzker Pavilion. And um, on Wednesdays, Fridays, and Saturdays, they have the symphony play. And so the orchestra was playing, we get there, we knew that they were going to be playing the soundtrack to a silent film. But when we got there, we were pleasantly surprised because it turns out at simultaneously they were showing the film. So I got to see my first silent film and have the orchestra play along to it simultaneously, which was really, really fun. So I also have some footage of that as well. So thank you so much for joining me today, and I will see you next time. Bye.